We would be honored if you would join us. And on the eighth day of the Phantom Manus, Star Wars gave to me these two Star Wars CDs. <laughs> that literally just came to me as I was start press record. So yeah, we've got the soundtracks, guys. The CD soundtracks. Now, these are the only two I have. There was a... There have been other versions released over the years. There was a remastered version, but I don't have a CD player anymore because apparently CDs are an old technology now, which makes me feel terribly old. So yeah, this one has been with me for a very long time. The original motion picture soundtrack. Music composed and conducted by John Williams. Unforgettable, given that uh, track 15 there. This is back when soundtrack scores were released before the film. Dun dun. Dun dun dun. Yeah, a little bit of a spoiler there. A little bit of a spoiler. So, um, yeah. <laughs> People would be blowing up these days if that was the case. So we have, have the disc... Again, hasn't been in a player for a long time. Eh, a couple little scratches on there. Again, this thing got to work out. We have here the, the little booklet. The little poster. Look at that. Inside we get the track listing. A few little liner notes from George Lucas and John Williams there. You can pause them and have a little read if you like. Picture of George and Mr. John Williams. Just a couple of goats. Some credits there. Let me pop that back in. So yeah, this was the version that's tided me over for a long time. And then at some stage over the years, I did pick up this, the Ultimate Edition. Which, unfortunately, hasn't been sort of reciprocated with the other films. Um, my understanding is that, particularly with Attack of the Clones, there wasn't actually as much score created for that film. You know, a lot of Episode 1 score was reused for that film. Um, and from what I understand, that was due, due in course to a lot of... Um, a lot of the time, or John Williams didn't have the time between, you know, the the release of episode two and the time he needed to score a full film. So, but yeah, this is still a fantastic release. Here at last is every note of the original music that John Williams composed for Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. With over 65 tracks and 120 minutes of music, the Ultimate Edition contains music never before released on CD, as well as a deluxe collector's booklet that includes 63 breathtaking photographs of every, from every key scene, plus picture discs. So yeah, you got... The track listing coming by picture form. And there it is there. So disc one. Literally anything you can think of. I don't think this is available on Spotify, unfortunately, but I believe you could find it on YouTube. There's a wish that every... Every film had this. What do you think? Moss Esper folk song, The Street Singer. And so much extra music material. Desert Winds bonus track. This music was not included in the final print of the motion picture. So just little things like that. Yeah, Empire Strikes Back famously has a lot of music cut from the, the final 
from the final film. But yeah, if you can get a hold of this, or you can track down the uh, track down the music and have a listen on YouTube. It's again some little write-ups and stuff. It's, yeah, wonderful, wonderful score. So yeah, just a short little video today for the 8th of May. Stick around for tomorrow. We'll see you again. Till then, may the force be with you always.